Hello everyone, we're going to take a look at which one will be a better weapon for a main DPS Rosaria, Crescent Pike or Dragon Spear. So let's not waste any time and get into it. Since we can't be using any of her data, we're going to be using Shanglings as they're very similar in how some of their kit functions. As always, level 80 Ascendant Shangling with level 8 talents with a Hilichiro as a test subject. Since we are using these artifacts, I'm going to assume that you're going to be using them as a main DPS physical role, so we're going to go with Gladiator set. With this set, let's first take a look at Dragon Spine Spear. For Dragon Spine Spear, this is going to be our suspected damage from the spear itself. I boxed the important stuff so you know what to be comparing. Now the thing is, if you take a look at the description of Dragon Spine Spear, it says opponents affected by Cryo are dealt 200% attack damage, which could be misleading on what is double the damage. After doing some tests with my Shangling, I have confirmed that this is specifically referring to only the Icicle. So the Icicle will instead do 200% damage instead of 60% damage as shown on this table. So only the Icicle and not your autos in charge will be boosted. Let's compare this to Crescent Pike. Now at first glance, it does look weaker, but you have to take into consideration its ability is activating every single hit when you have taken elemental orbs, which is almost all the time, at least for Shang Ling, to give you this. You might say that Rosaria's kit is different though. We saw her hit once from her skill in the trailer, and the Crescent's ability only lasts for 5 seconds, and we don't even know the exact cooldown of her skill. Okay, so I've at least tested out how many times I would hit with Shang Ling, and it's a total auto attack damage of 902%, which is basically 2 attack cycles. Your ability will be doing a cumulative damage of 2,183 damage every 5 seconds whereas Dragon Spine does 2,135 damage every 10 seconds. And the thing is, you're not just using Rosaria's skill. The spear is boosted from any elemental orbs, so it could be from an enemy, an ally skill, and that will reset the timer on when your ability resets. So realistically, it would look like this. I know I'm hating on Dragon Spine a lot, but judging from this, Crescent Pike is pretty much better on all categories. I know a lot of people are thinking Dragon Spine has a higher physical percent bonus than Crescent Pike. Why is Crescent Pike still better? Dragon Spine Spear does have a higher percentage, but Crescent Pike has a higher base damage, and a lot of damage bonus is based on the base attack. And even if it's just a difference of 100, you can see it gives you really similar numbers even with a high physical damage percent boost. The overall setup of this calculation should not be that much different from Rosaria, so my prediction is betting that Rosaria should be better with Crescent Pike rather than Dragon Spine Spear. I hope this video was helpful for you. For those of you who are subscribed, you might be confused because I just made this announcement that I will not be doing any videos on leaked characters. However, Rosaria is confirmed and recall that I said I will not be using her beta data, which I did not do at all for this video. And I only used information that I confirmed from the footage given from the live stream 1.4. So I have a clear idea of how Rosaria herself functions, which gives us enough legitimate evidence to do this video. Hence, I am still standing by my statement that I have not used her leaked data, but at the same time, I think I was able to give you all what you all asked for from the poll last week. Make sure to leave a like if you thought this was helpful, donate if you wish to help the channel, and I will see you in the next video.